Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Brandon James here. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying humble, and staying true to yourselves. As you can see, I am back in the car. It's because it is raining. I was done this outside, but I ain't getting wet. So I'm at the gym now. Um, today's video, which you guys are now involved in, is a bit of a long series. Um, basically, I have changed my morning routine. I am no longer getting up at seven or half seven and basically feeling like crap before going to work i'm trying out a new routine where i'm getting up at five o'clock but i'm also going to bed early the night before and like really like working to really improve my mental health my physical health and just my general productivity throughout the day so it's currently five o'clock in the afternoon and i do not feel tired i got up at five o'clock this morning and this day one i'll do seven days and i'll see if there's an improvement or i feel knackered but i will basically you will go through the whole seven days with me and we'll see how it goes but yeah first session coming up i will do a review afterwards see if i'm more fatigued or enough has changed or i'm more focused but we shall see um if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, and also hit that like button. But if you are still with me and you're following the journey from the beginning and been a constant subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate the love. I really do. Honestly, I really, really do. Um, I was just checking the mirror because some cars seem like it's about to run in my car. But thank you so much for being part of the team. Um, it doesn't go unmissed. But like I said, hit that like button, um, get that video flying across YouTube. And um, of course, I've been a lot more open with you with my social media accounts, like the Instagram, the Facebook, um, everything, to basically get you guys involved as much as possible, um, to show you that anything's possible, basically. But yeah, I will maybe get some clips of the gym, but I'm trying to step away from showing you just gym videos i want to give you the variations so this potentially could just be a review on seven days and then i'll do a different video for the gym but uh, yeah i love you guys and i'll see you in a bit for either day two or a bit of gym clips but we shall see good morning day two and um, reason why i'm showing because people are better of course it is 5 33 in the morning and um, i got up at five this morning um but you know i had to have a shower get ready chill out and just kind of get myself ready for the day. Day two, definitely feel a little different in the ways of, it was that fight situation. You either go, you know what, I'm gonna get up and do what I said I'm gonna do, or I'll go back to bed. Um, that was a bit challenging this morning, but I chose not to, I chose to get up, chose to get ready. Um, I had a shower, I had a cold plunge. Um, of course, that woke me up straight away. Which is good, but um, yeah, of course, a little bit tired today, but that's only because my body's trying to get used to the clock. But we shall see how it goes. Um, now I'm gonna do some stuff for the YouTube, do some stuff for the Instagram, go and get some coffee because I've also ran out, but I won't be having it yet. Of course, always make sure to keep it between 60 to 90 minutes after you've woken up. If not, you'll re affect um, your energy levels of the day, which you do not want to do. So I'll go for a walk in a bit, hopefully, get about half an hour worth of steps in. Which is not too bad, um, but yesterday I felt really good, like all day. No, didn't feel tired whatsoever. Got the gym in, um, so potentially it's looking quite positive, um, which is an upside for this. Uh, secondly, going out for a very long day today, so we'll see how that goes. See if I fatigue out then, but um, yeah, so so far so good. Uh, I want, I'd love to bring a coffee, but right now I'm going to do some stuff on the old uh, YouTube. Oh. So yeah, um, I'm first mention quickly. Um, yeah, last night we uh, decided that I needed to invest in myself a little bit, and I needed to really like make it look like I'm interested in my hobbies and you know taking the whole gym and body kind of natural bodybuilding thing really seriously. So I treated myself to a big major Gymshark haul, which 
Of course, of course, of course, I'll do a video for it before you guys do a bit of uh, modeling, bit of strutting. You know, you got to enjoy uh, showing off the old clothes, and um, hopefully, you guys are interested and you know, it, a bit more entertainment than just sitting there talking and uh, taking through the gym. But um, yeah, I do a bit of um, YouTube stuff, a little bit of Instagram stuff. Um, I wanted to kind of time perfectly to kind of get out and go to the shops, and then um, yeah, I'll take a walk there and then go grab some coffee and then potentially some breakfast and then yeah we'll see how the day takes us but yeah still feeling good um I might do some meditation actually and uh, we'll see how it goes normally last time i did yesterday i fell asleep though so okay. walking <laughs> no, now going out to go and get some coffee um yeah it's um six o'clock now I said I um, had to wait for the shops to open before I go and buy it. Sometimes when you live in a small village, um, things aren't always going to be open. But luckily I have a Morrison's that is open at six. So we're going to enjoy that. Get some coffee, potentially get some uh, breakfast. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, um, update though. Not too tired. I'm actually pretty all right. Um, a bit cold though. I say every the last couple of days that um, I've had the cold plunge. Still carrying on being cold afterwards, which is potentially either my body trying to wake up still, or it was just that cold. So I might have to turn the temperature up just a little bit on the cold plunge. But yeah. So it's really important to make sure you get your steps in the morning as well. Like I realised this was a um, big positive since doing these. Um, getting up at the five o'clock in the morning is that getting those steps in is really easy. Like I'm easily smashing in now 15,000, 16,000 steps a day. Whereas before, literally getting up, what, maybe 45 minutes later to achieve nothing anyway, um, I was making less than 10 and I had to really struggle at the end of the day to get them. So I'm in a lot better position now by getting up, being proactive. And then weirdly, like I'm soon, soon, uh, potentially taking up another, another position to support um, myself and uh, the coach. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, yeah, nearly at the shops. We've still got, we've got a few cut throughs, but it's not too bad. That had to be the hardest decision ever. Oh, uh, yeah. We stood there for at least 10 minutes trying to figure out. Stood so there for at least 20 minutes trying to figure out what coffee I was going to buy. I was thinking to myself, do I spend a lot of money and buy some nice coffee? Or for the house, do I just buy some bigger jar and have more coffee? So I went for the bigger jar and more coffee. Because I'm going out to there, I probably end up buying a nice one out and about anyway. I know buying coffee out and about is expensive, but uh, I've got to enjoy things. First brew of the day, clocking in at 6.44, so that's over an hour and a half since I've been up, so yeah, it's a good time to have coffee. It's at least at six, between 60 and 90 minutes after you have woken up to allow your body to really use all the energy it already has stored. So, been out and about all day. Um, not been too bad, been awake, day two, not too bad, um, busy, 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 so went shopping, which I'll be doing a different video for that, um, but yeah, now I'm getting ready for the gym, one thing I've found since probably been day two, my body clock's kind of catching up, so I got a bit tired, um, but I should be alright, still get a good gym slash out, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, and then, um, we'll see how I feel at the end of the day, but we'll see if I should be, like, a lot more tired, but we'll see what see. I'm pleased to know I won't be doing a gym input on this either. It would just be me talking to you about my preferences and what I feel like being going to the gym later, morning, evening, or getting up at five. So yeah, in the gym. We're gonna leave it there for day two. Um, yeah, I feel all right. I'm gonna hopefully get a good set of shoulders. Don't worry, um, it might have maybe a split second clip, but it won't be uh, too much gym work. It's more discussing how I'm feeling. So yeah, two days in now. Um, first day I felt like I wasn't even tired at all, um, today uh, the body clock's probably caught up, 
and um, I feel a little bit tired, but I'm still really productive, still got a lot of stuff done, still went shopping, still went for a food shop and also clothes shopping, also did a lot of um, personal stuff. And so, yeah, it wasn't wasted time, which is good. Sometimes if people just get out, they just waste it. Whereas this morning I got up at five, went for a walk, got the coffee, you know, and also got some breakfast for the missus, you know, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, the eyes are feeling it, but the rest of the way I'm fine. Like I said, I've got this, still got the uh, enthusiasm and encourage and determination to be in the gym, so that doesn't get affected, which is class. But uh, we shall see how tomorrow is. Of course, being three days in, um, they always say three days is it, isn't it? Like it's either you you make it and you go ahead and you get up, or you go back to being who you really are. So you know, let's make it a routine, and hopefully, it benefits me in the future. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's day three of the uh, testing what it's like getting up at five in the morning and um, I think it's happened, yeah, the body clock's got used to it. I woke up quite easy this morning. Um, yeah, line went up at five, did what I normally do, sit in bed until 20 past five and then had a shower till half past and of course, yeah, that's what we're looking at and then of course we've just been bimbling around the house doing little bits and bobs to then get into the video with you guys. So it's been good actually, uh, I feel really refreshed, I feel awake, no more tired eyes, no more tired feeling. As you can see, I'm really more and much more engaging with you guys. I've also, every morning I'm gonna do a cold plunge. Um, I've seen some major benefits to that. Um, I am looking to get a uh, cold plunge pool anyway, but with a sauna. But um, no, major, major benefits there. I realise I'm starting it off too cold to the point where I put myself in a shock and uh, that's quite extreme so what I've done is I lowered it yesterday sorry raised the temperature makes make more sense raised it a bit more yesterday but that was too warm so I've then dipped it down today to where it's just basically just nice and cold um, put put a little bit of pressure on the muscle put the pressure on the, on the body and yeah felt great um, put a weight now um, and this is she wanted to try and get up today as well <laughs> So I've made a brew um, to, in terms you would normally have it 60 to 90 minutes after you wake up. That isn't happening with her. She wants her cup of tea, she wants it down there, which is fair enough. Some of the other routines which we provide. But um, yeah, I'll see how today goes. Um, I'll be recording a different video. Um, potentially going to be releasing that one earlier than this one because of course we've got to get the evidence and we've got to get all the stuff for you guys to really let you know what's going on. But yeah, halfway through the uh, seven days of getting up at five. And yeah, I feel really good. Uh, hopefully I can carry it on for the next four and it doesn't affect me or put me in a uh, spiral and tired phase. But yeah, it was nice, went a bit earlier than normal last night. Normally on like a Friday or a Saturday, we, um, we stay up late, but I think we stay up late just for the sake of it. We could all the weekend stay up late, but instead I'd rather get up, go out today, get stuff done, you know, take, kind of enjoy the daytime, not just waste it in the evening. So, yeah, I feel much, much more productive. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are loving the Instagram, loving the uh, YouTube now that I've interlinked them all together. Got some TikToks interlinked in there. But um, like I said, if you're still with this um, video, I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the love. Uh, please make sure to like it. Um, and kind of just get it out there, really. I really want to make this channel as big as possible, inspire as many as possible. You know, really encourage people to better themselves and um, push themselves more to a more positive um, lifestyle, more positive um, mindset. So hopefully we can all do it together as a team. But um, yeah, I'll probably, how I'll probably do for the rest of the week is check in pretty much through the day. I won't be training today as it's Sunday, uh, but I might uh, show you on the bike just to see how energetic I am, because I'll be doing cardio. And then Monday, it'll be morning, Afternoon, uh, morning ending gym, morning ending gym. They do it that way because I don't want you guys to keep sitting here and having to have boring content. I always kind of have punchy to the point. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys um, are enjoying it so far. But I'll see you in a bit. Good morning, day four um, of getting up at five. I did put a post up on Instagram at 5.30 and now it's 10 to 6. The reason being, I was doing some iron on my work uniform and Getting this is approved because she would get up for uh, some revision. But um, yeah, day four, it's, I'll tell you my feedback now. So yesterday felt good. Um, yeah, got through the day, absolutely fine. Out and about all morning, out and about all afternoon, which was nice. 
busy, good, got another video completed yesterday. So the productivity has gone up, massively gone up since being up early in the morning. So we could do an extra hour, couple of hours in the morning to really get myself awake and focus on what I want to achieve for the day. And then the only downside of it currently due to being on the cut, I'm very hungry. So I'm having to really space out my meals, but I've been successful in that and I know kind of how to and when to do it. So it's not too bad. The only problem is today I've woken up on day four and I felt like I've tried to retain everything, like potentially probably as well as a shock mode. So I've tried everything I've eaten yesterday, I've tried to retain and um, I think, yeah, so it made me feel a bit, feel heavy, feel a bit bloated, but that's quite fine. That's natural, you can have your ups and downs when it comes to um, eating and cutting, you know, it's not going to be perfect all the time, it's not going to be a fluent down motion, it does have its ups and downs, that's, all, that's what it's all about. And um, it's about enjoying the process and not stressing about too much. I'm not stressed, um, just going to enjoy it. But like saying day four, get up at five, it feels like it's been a routine now for months, but it's not, of course, it's only been a couple of days. Um, I feel good and naturally woke up before the alarm today. So you will end up realizing that the mindset we set ourselves of, um, I have to have a certain amount of hours of sleep. I have to have, yes, you do. But then you can count to the other side. So if I go to bed a lot earlier now, by about an hour, that's literally it. By, by an hour, go to bed earlier, I wake up um, more refreshed, uh, more ready for the day. I get more stuff done before work, which is great. The productivity has gone, shoot, massively gone up. And um, yeah, so at the moment, currently I, rec I definitely 100% recommend getting up early. I feel like it's going to become part of my personal routine. But we shall see how the rest of the day goes because it's causes it's going on with the weekend, back to work, um, and let's just see how it goes and see what the toll it takes. Good morning. It is day five um, of me joining the 5 a.m. club, and I will tell you now, it has been amazing this week um, so far, especially with um, experiencing yesterday, first day back at work with this, and also today. I've been so proactive, I've been on the ball, I've had everything in place that I needed to, which is fantastic. And yeah, honestly, my mind and it, the processes that I normally go through are completely different. I'm more methodical, uh, thinking ahead of the game, far ahead of the game as well. And uh, so definitely, excuse me, I've seen a major difference and change. The reason why it seems a little bit lighter, I chose to be a bit had to do this video a bit later because I want to have a brew while doing it. You know, sometimes when you're talking to somebody in the morning, you want to have a brew, but I always try my coffees now and I recommend it, massively recommend it. Try and aim for an hour to an hour and a half after you wake up. Allow your body to wake up, allow it to use the chemicals and allow it to use everything that you guys naturally produce to be able to get ahead of the game and like seize the day. You know, I feel fantastic at the moment. But I, did, I will say, I, today it was a little bit more higher than yesterday due to generally the fact is because I had to do something last night I bed like maybe 10 15 minutes later than normal and that extra that 15 minutes of pretty much probably small menial tasks or someone just tiktoking or just going through Instagram it was not beneficial it just needed to be done for my for my, my case but um don't waste 30 minutes 40 minutes looking at rubbish online and if you're looking at stuff to learn and be inspirational and you know how to succeed in life you'll realize that actually that 30 40 minutes you could do that in the morning like i am now but you gain three hours maybe four hours before your time before you start work so a hundred percent recommend it so far of course it's only day five uh or day six day seven and i'll give you a full round off bed but i can see me doing that Ever. I don't think I can really stop doing this. I feel like I'm succeeding so much. And you know, there will be days where I think, you know what, I'll like to have a lay in, I'll stay in till six or seven. And that's okay, you're allowed to do that. You've got to let your body reset sometimes. But at the moment, for like work and just progressing and trying to succeed in life, this is definitely the way forward. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go to work today. Um, probably talk to you guys later for, the, for, for day five, to kind of like cut over the middle of the week, go to the gym and then show you what I've got. But yeah, I love you all, have a good day. Good morning, so it's day six. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, if you are, 
new to the channel, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. Come on, let's get as many subscribers as possible. I'd love to get 150 by the end of the year, but we shall see. For everyone who has been sticking around, who is a current subscriber and also is a current watcher, I really appreciate the love you are giving. Please, please, please make sure to hit that like button and share it. So I know that you guys are watching it, but I appreciate it no matter what. Um, it's a big thing for me and you know, it's nice to see that I am entertaining people. So yeah, day six and um, it's going okay. Yeah, actually I woke up easy this morning. It was like straight away, five o'clock comes, cool. Uh, Alexa, turn alarm off please. All right, straight out of bed, straight into the shower, straight into a cold plunge, straight out so I've got to get stuff ready for today. Um, going, for, going off to um, play some cricket. So I've been up practically looking for my making sure all my stuff's in order like yesterday. Um, I've got all packed yesterday, but I want to make sure today. And then just literally going to go for a walk in a bit. And then um, brew breakfast and just enjoy the day like, and season it. But so far, so good to be honest. After the first two days um, with that big old fluctuation in the calendar, in the calendar. <laughs> in your body clock, what an idiot. Um, what that's done for me is I've noticed that there's a major shift in productivity of the day. I'm more thinking of methodical ways to complete things, not just, oh, let's get a task done. It's like, right, we could do this, or we could do it this way or this way. So it's really good. It's a weird way. I feel like getting up at this time and having that couple of hours to really wake up, get ready for work, get yourself sorted, has created a more product productivity in the workplace due to getting up at 5am. So I 100% recommend getting up at 5am and becoming part of the 5am club. There is a book that I'm going to read that I have to recommend, like I've said. So we'll see what that does and see if I can uh, learn from it and potentially improve my lifestyle, uh, improve my financials, but we shall see. At the end of the day, if it's trial by error, trial by error. I'm really messing this up this one. Maybe I am going to go back to bed. It's trial by fire. Maybe I need to go back to bed. No, um, I probably won't ever do that for a while actually. If I do go back to bed like that sometimes, it'll be like just because they want to have a lion, reset the mind, reset the body. So, but overall, so far, so good. I'll see you potentially later on. If not, I will probably the next time I speak to you will be me summarizing the video and letting you guys know my full overall review of it and the outcome. So, yeah, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay humble, and stay tuned. Good morning. Day seven of the joining the 5 a.m. club, and I will tell you now, it's been a weird one this morning. By accident last night, I didn't mean to. I ended up going to bed later than I wanted to, and what it's done is I panicked and thought, "Oh, I'm going to get up late tomorrow, and that's going to be ruining my situation." Actually, I naturally woke up at five, and I woke up for my alarms, and I was able to, you know, get up. Am I a little bit tired though? Yes. So that will be my biggest thing, which I'll come to in a bit, about the pros and cons from it. And then I will go into detail of why and what's my future plan. So starting off the first bit, why did I do this? I did this because I wanted to kind of see if all the speculation on the internet are true. If you do get up in the morning early, can you seize the day? Do your productivity go higher? Do you feel more enthusiastic? Are you more determined? All those elements that people say that you get when you get up early in the morning. I will be honest, it has been really, really good and it has made me think a lot more on my toes. It's made me seize the day. It shows that going to bed maybe 15, 20 minutes later doesn't get um, benefit you. It's like, yeah, okay, it's cool that you can have a little bit extra time in the evening, but you end up losing a lot of time in the morning. So I found that before I was going to bed at about four, quarter to 11, 11 o'clock in the evening, which is quite late for some people, but to me, I was just always busy and I wanted to do stuff, so I never went to sleep. But I wasn't getting up until about seven, half seven and losing a lot of time. I now try to go to bed at 4.10 or a little bit just before 10 and then I've been able to gain three hours in the morning. Look at the difference of that, that's phenomenal. And I have felt more awake, more focused and more determined to achieve a lot of things in my life and a lot of um, 
like all my social medias, all my personal status, I literally have tried to boost it to uh, benefit at the end. So I definitely would recommend getting up at 5 a.m. or potentially 6 a.m. if you start a little bit later. So of course it's all down to your own preference and of course everyone's an early bird. I'm definitely not an early bird, I'm normally a night owl. So going forward, I'm gonna keep trying to keep going. I'm gonna try and keep doing it and then maybe on a weekend or a Sunday I'm gonna reset and just not have any alarms and just allow my body to re you know rewind itself and wake up when it wants to. So that's what I'll probably do. So I'll do probably in the future six days, five a.m. or the seventh, allow my body to rest and just wake up. Pros and cons. Of course I've had a few pros, but the pros are basically you are more focused, you become better at decision making. Uh, you gain a lot of time in the morning, you can relax, you can self-reflect, you can meditate and your general overall well-being feels a lot better, you start feeling more positive, you start feeling more you know, enthusiastic and happy towards everyone around you because you're like, well, if I can get up at 5am and I can do this, this and this and this and this and this, why can't I do this? So you start thinking a lot more out of the box, which is really cool, which I found since doing it. Cons. The cons is a weird one. Um, for example, a lot of it falls down to yourself as an individual. So if you go to bed a little bit late than for me, at the time that you got used to during setting the uh, pattern, you end up feeling really tired the next day. So today I, I literally went to bed 10, 15 minutes later, by paying the price per day. So it is a very thin line of what's a good time and what's a bad time. So that's probably it. You've got to pick the right time. Um, if it's going to another con, if this is going to be a lifestyle, you end up probably losing out on a lot more social events if you aren't going to go out on a weekend, or if you end up having alcohol, that will also affect the outcome of the getting up at 5am. So yeah, it's about consistency. Consistency can potentially be uh, tricky with some people's lives being so hectic. That could be a con. Um, third con, it takes a while to get into the routine. But actually, other than that, I see more positives than negatives towards this. So in my opinion, I would 100% recommend trying to get up at 5 a.m. and trying to do it with consistency. Not just one or two days, I mean consistency of like six, seven, and I'll probably end up doing more um, six a week than one, like I was saying. So overall, I'm gonna 100% recommend watch when you go to bed, because if not, you will be tired. To, thirdly, try and get a routine going because if you don't, or for example, if you just get up at five and sit on the sofa, you'll end up falling asleep. And then for just enjoy it. You know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Don't force yourself to do it at the end of the day. It's just something I've tried. And if you want to try it and you enjoy it, then fair enough. If you don't, fair enough as well. So we end the video there before I keep rambling on. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I have joined the 5am club. If you do too, comment down below. Make sure to like the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, become part of the team. Let's get together, let's boost our confidence, let's inspire others, let's all get together and make something of this channel. Hi, right, I love you all, have a great time, and I'll see you next week.